So the question's been around for a long time. What's more important? Is it lifting really heavy or lifting really intensely? And I'm gonna give you an example based on a client study to help you determine for yourself what the answer is. So let's introduce our subject. We have a middle-aged male and he's put some muscle on and he's gotten to a point where going from someone who had never really trained before to being able to bench press the 70 pound dumbbells with a little bit of help for at least six reps. All this training three times a week with naturally intense, high intensity training. And again, in a very well equipped gym, doing tons of different exercises from compound lift and using all the machines that are available there as well. Now the lockdown happens and his training goes from in person in that very well equipped gym to training at home. And training at home, he's training with a pair of 25 pound dumbbells, which he does for a two year period. At the end of the second year, he upgrades it to a 60 pound barbell as well. So that's all there is for a period of three years. And so he keeps on training pretty consistently over a three year period and goes back into the gym, at which point he tries to bench press those 70 pound dumbbells. What do you think happened? And also very importantly, did he continue to keep on making gains in muscle mass training again with such minimal equipment? Stay tuned, and I'll answer that question for you. So in this video, we're talking about what's more important. Is it lifting really heavy weights and having a huge degree of equipment at your disposal? Or can you maintain or increase your strength by just training at extremely high intensity with weights that aren't necessarily ultra heavy? And of course, the other important question is, can you build muscle with weights that aren't ultra heavy as well by using this particular form of high intensity training? And I know you want to hear the answer about what happens next. But before I go any further, I'd like everyone for tuning in, especially those who should be a one-stop place for anyone who's training naturally without supplements or drugs. Thanks so much for tuning in and do be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're first line to get some content as it comes out. So no more suspense. So let's put some context behind those workouts. Those workouts lasted only 10 minutes going all out with almost no rest whatsoever between sets and every single exercise was taken almost similar to a muscular failure or utilizing blisteringly intense high intensity training techniques. But in keeping with naturally intense high intensity training, every single workout was different. And so there's no progressive resistance whatsoever in that you're always doing different exercises. And bear in mind, making every single workout different with someone who only has a pair of 25 pound dumbbells and later a 60 pound barbell may sound challenging, but the number of combinations you could do with that equipment is enormous. And besides, it's what we do all the time. But let's end the suspense. Here's what happened. So he goes to the gym, picks up the 70 pound dumbbells, pops back with it. And guess what? He can get 10 reps. That's right. He can get 10 reps by himself. Over a three year period trained with only 25 pound dumbbells and a 60 pound barbell, he was able to go back into the gym and not just lift the 70 pound dumbbells that he was struggling with before, but lift them easily for 10 reps. And his physique showed tremendous improvement over that period of time as well, even though he wasn't training with ultra heavy weights. And this was an isolated incident at all. In fact, every single one of my clients during lockdown who were training with 20 pound, 25 pound, 15 pound dumbbells, when they went back to the gym, most of them were able to lift more than they would before. And all of them who had been absolutely consistent with their training were able to lift more and also had some increase in overall muscle mass. And this is a game changer for anyone interested in training at home outside of a commercial gym because it underlines the fact that you don't need that much equipment in order to make progress. As long as there's sufficient overload and adequate intensity, it's going to force an adaptation response whereby muscles get bigger and stronger. Now, of course, there must be upper or lower limits to this in that if you're training, for example, with a pair of five pound dumbbells, and you're training really intensely with it, number one, it's really difficult for someone, let's say as strong as I am, to get a really intense workout with a pair of five pound dumbbells. 
But nevertheless, if you have a decent amount of weight, even though it's a fixed amount of weight, you can increase overall strength and muscle training at extremely high intensities and varying your workouts. And I think that's something that's important to note. But that being said, there are always more than one way up a mountain. But it's important to understand that if you're training at extremely high intensities, even though the weight that you're using may not necessarily be tremendously heavy, if you're going to a point above and beyond, and again, I have to say above and beyond, these are not people who are training on their own, but people training under my direct supervision, training really to that point where they can't go anymore, and sometimes pushing even a little bit more to get a little bit more out of them than they even thought was possible. If you're training at that intensity, and every single time you're training, you're training with a different set of exercises. It bears knowing that getting stronger and increasing muscle mass seems to be a repeatable outcome under these conditions. And that's all science about. It's also trying to put down one idea over another idea. It's just putting forward what's repeatable. Now, at the end of the day, you might tell yourself, well, you need heavyweights to grow. And isn't it important to train at really heavy weights? Well, the way we look at it, it's not so much a matter of what's more important. It's a matter of doing everything and doing everything you can with what you have. When I first started training with naturally intense high intensity training, I initially had a huge drop in my poundages. And as a young man, watching your numbers go from being able to bench press a significant amount of weight to almost negligible because you're training at such a high intensity, and there's almost no rest whatsoever between sets, it wasn't easy, but I started seeing results. And as a bodybuilder, what was really important for me was increasing muscle mass. And that's exactly what I got, so I kept on doing it. However, as the years went by, whenever I did a pyramid set in a more conventional style, the amount of weight I could lift was always significantly more, even than it was when I first started out. All I can hear is the fray counting. I want to share that with you because I see it as a real privilege being able to have learned so much over the years. And I always say, to whom much is given, much is expected. So I always try to share as much as I can. So I know this information is probably sparking a lot of thinking on your part. And if you have some comments or questions, do be sure to add them below. But most importantly, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully what I've learned along my journey will help you as well. And as always, Excelsior.